Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is still Monday, March 11, 2019. I am still the drunk poker, and it is still beer time. That's the last time I'm going to see you for tonight, because after this, we do the serious drinking. How are you? Uh, again, LCBO. So today, it was literally just an LCBO day, and, and that's where the majority of people I know buy their beer still. We do love going to breweries, absolutely, but sometimes... On your way home, you don't have time, you stop in at the LCBO. What do they have? Wow, what do they have? One of the best beers in Ontario. Left Field Brewing Laser Show. Double IPA, 8.0%, 80 IBUs. It's a big old, big old beer in a little can. Mm -hmm. uh, the price points are a discussion. It's four fifty a little can, but this is a big beer. Packs a big punch. A lot of stuff going on in here. So we'll leave that discussion for another day. <laughs> I mean, we've had it, we've had it a dozen times. It's all about value. And what do you value? This beer to me, I'm okay with it because the value is there. But it's up to each person to decide where that value stops. Some people are bucket beer people. Knock yourselves out. No, I'm not going to get into that one either because Jesus Christ, I just want to enjoy my night off. That's the problem. See, when you work at 5, 6 a.m. every day, your only night, I mean, you only get, you get one day off a week, let's say, or you get separate days off. You, your night off is the night before your day off because the next day you're already in Sunday mode again. So I'm, I'm on Saturday night time here. Like I, I go right from Friday to Saturday very quickly. So that's why I'm having a laser show. Probably both cans. Probably we can have both cans. Uh, my friend Don, one of his favorite beers and with good reason, this one is beautiful. I mean, I remember laser show in the original bottle. Cripes. I bet you I probably have nondescript box of this with just tags. So here's the thing. There's sometimes there's sediment in there. Does sediment bother you? It doesn't bother me. I don't want chunks. I don't mind sediment. But uh, yeah, let's get into this. Orangey grapefruit melon. Sure. Oh, it's such a beautiful looking beer. All right. Anyways, my friends. Again, we were at left field. I didn't buy this because I know I can pick it up at the LCBO. I bought a you know a bunch of stuff you can't pick up at the LCBO. You can also order online. So if you're in Ontario, you want to get some left field beer, you can order online. But uh, let's get into it. Uh, cheers, my friends, to a beautiful Monday slash Friday slash Saturday night here in the crease. You see, you can go home again. Um... I mean, we cut our teeth on IPAs. We, we really did. We cut our teeth on them. They are a part of our DNA as craft beer drinkers. Not everybody. Again, I understand I'm speaking from personal experience here. Um, for me, that's where I cut my teeth. This is a beautiful, tropical, juicy, um, orange grapefruit, pithy resin, pine on the back. Uh, just a gorgeous beer. Some melon in there. It, it, it does drink deceptively easy for 8%. Like, it goes down very, very quickly. And again, quality. Quality, quality, quality. Consistency. Inconsistency is a category killer. Consistency is a category winner. Left Field consistently puts out really, really good beers. Great beers. And that is why we continue to go and visit them. You know what? Am I going to go back to the well again and again with a brewery that continues to deliver on its promise of good beer? Absolutely. Will I avoid breweries that do not deliver on that promise? Of course I will. Because at this point now, my money goes so far. And would I rather spend four fifty on a three fifty five mil can of this beer, knowing exactly what I'm going to get every single time, than dropping five bucks on a can of something that I don't know if it's going to be a chunky mess? I don't know if it's going to be improperly brewed. I don't know if it's going to have defects. I don't have that kind of time or money to waste anymore. I am not a young man. I am not a rich man. I'm a man who loves his beer and he loves it well made. And Left Field continues to deliver on that promise every single time. So kudos to Left Field. Kudos to you for, for sticking around through this whole thing we go through. I'm going to go enjoy the rest of my night. The Leafs are not doing well, but I'm a, I'm a cheer them on anyways. I'm going to open this other can. I hope you have a great night, my friends. Cheers to Left Field. Cheers to good, good beer. Here's to good people. Here's to great times. Cheers. I would have bought four. No questions asked. <laughs>